Well, let's lighten things up this morning. Pumla M's music journey started when she sang in a church choir at the tender age of just 13 years old. She has now released a song titled Love Cycle featuring uh, Kaching vocals. Pumla M joins us now to talk about her musical journey so far. Good morning to you. Thank you very much for joining us here on the South African me. Morning. Very good morning to you and all the viewers out there. It's our absolute pleasure. So we got a little bit of a sneak peek in the <laughs> performance uh, a little bit later. You've got an amazing voice. You are so, you so talented. So talk Thank to you. me about the love for music and where that journey started for you. Okay. Um, as I had um, said okay, before, um, I grew up in the church choir. Um, yeah, I w there was a time when I was like the youngest in the church choir. Yeah. So also apart from church, family gatherings, every time we're together, they're singing, they're singing. That's just how we are. Mm -hmm. So I think that's where my love for music grew. Yeah. But then I never thought I would be here, like where <laughs> I am today. I'm like, what? Yeah. You know, but I believe that God knew what he was doing at the time. He knew what he had put inside of me and he knew mm -hmm. where he, he, he's taking me. It's so beautiful to have that reassurance yeah. and that gives you so much confidence. It's, yes. it's beautiful to see. But Thank let's talk you. about your journey and your, your growth in the music industry. You say okay. that you started uh, in church at the age of 13, yes. but what is your sound like now? Are you still doing gospel? What has your sound developed to? Okay, um, I'm more of an Afropop person. Mm -hmm. I love R&B. I love gospel. I love all genres. I guess it depends on the mood and what it is that I'm doing, mm. you know, but yeah, I'm often an pop and R&B person, but I love different kinds of music. As long as the, the music is, so, it yeah. sounds good. But and what I'm is your sound it. inspired? My by? sound, yeah. Afropop. Yeah. Okay, you mean the song that yes, we released? The new, yeah, the new music as well. I was actually challenging myself. I wanted oh, to try cool. something out. I'm one person that believes in trying something. I'd rather fail having tried than to not try at all. And then to have those regrets. Yes. So an interesting fact about you is that you actually study aviation. Yes. So from aviation to music, finding that balance, <laughs> yes. there's a lot going on. There is a How lot. How do you balance everything? And talk to us about your love for aviation as well. Okay, yeah. Yo, ever since I was a kid, like I would see aircrafts flying and yeah. I was like, that is just so magical. I want to be able to do that one day. Yeah. So that's how like, I ended up following through, going to the schools while I was still doing my high school. Mm -hmm. and then I found a school and then I applied. They took me, started flying. I'm currently now building hours towards my commercial license. I want to start with my comm exams this month, but I, I have a private pilot license. I love a multi-talented <laughs> woman. Thank you so, <laughs> so, so talk much. Talk to me about your first solo flight. Have you done it? Yes, was I've it, done was it. Was it scary? Was it nerve-wracking? I can't imagine being in control yeah. of an aircraft all by yourself. It mm -hmm. must have been daunting. Uh, okay, yeah. It was, it was <laughs> something else because what happened was it was my first time going to fly alone. Yeah. Exactly. It's a so, that's why they call it a solo flight. Oh my gosh. So I was doing circuits. The door opens up. I'm alone in the aircraft. So now I had to like sit in between the aircraft and pull the door and communicate with the radio. Tell them that I have an emergency. Can I just come back to land? What was so the emergency? The door opened up. While and you were I fly a Piper. Oh At least a Cessna, a high-winged aircraft has... Yes two doors. Mm -hmm. A piper has one door and you sit, you sit on the left, the door is on the right. And this was your first flight? It was my first flight. How did you manage that? I just said, you know what, <laughs> I'm not going to die. I just grabbed the door not today. and I was like, communicate Pumla, just focus, focus and then yeah. Oh wow, but obviously you overcame it because you I overcame it and I think that's how we grow, you know, yes, that's, how, that's you, how you learn. Yeah. Yeah. So let's go back to the music. It is Women's Month. Mm -hmm. um, I think a woman uh, in the entertainment industry and in the music industry has mm -hmm. a lot of challenges. That's what true. are some of the challenges that you are hoping uh, women can, can overcome mm -hmm. uh, in the next couple of years and, and, and challenges that you hope uh, mm -hmm. there will be some assistance with? Okay. Um, I actually joined um, the recording label that I'm with mm -hmm. um, late last year, so I haven't really like gone far with this journey that I'm on right now, mm -hmm. but what I know is that you hear stories of um, maybe women being taken advantage of, expected to do certain things mm -hmm. so that they can get to a certain place or a mm -hmm. level. Mm -hmm. I just wish that like things could be done differently where uh, a male artist will be looked at or 
treated equally with a female artist mm, you know you no sexist yes yeah you know what i mean yeah no hundred yeah, percent yeah so like it should be based on your talent your hard work not other things that have nothing to do with music hundred percent yeah but let's talk about the music yes. a new song is out yes. you're going to be performing it for us a little bit later yes. talk to us what is it called and where okay. did the inspiration come from all right the name of the song is love cycle mm -hmm. Love Cycle is actually a war between the heart and the mind. Oh, wow. It's like your partner has given you so many reasons to leave. You keep trying to leave, but your heart <laughs> always brings you back. It always pulls you back. Mm. So that's what the song is about. And then I'm with Kaching vocals on the song. They also did something nice to the song. I think, yeah, I can't wait for us to perform it so that you guys can hear it. And I hope you guys will love it. I'm sure we are <laughs> going to love it.